Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a April Blu-ray collection update video. Which like I missed I didn't do March, but the last one I did was in Feb. When like I did the big collection video. As you can probably see behind me, there's a this is one. And then there's also a mini of the smaller row behind me. So, yep, yeah, let's get started. So, like, all of these Blu-rays were from online and in store. Like, JB Hi-Fi, Amazon and stuff. I'd say a fair chunk of these are from Amazon, because they had, like, 50% off, I think. So, yes, let's go. And I also included a couple that I got in March. Just because, like, they were meant to release in March, I think. So, the first one is The Rise of Skywalker, which, as you, if you watched my video last year in December, that was, I said this was my favourite movie of the year. Other people might disagree, but I'm allowed opinion, so... Red 2, the sequel to Red with Bruce Willis. Up, oh, here's Red, the one before that one, with Bruce Willis, John Malkovich, Morgan Freeman, Helen Mirren. This is a cracker. This is like a, a good movie if you like action movies and part comedy. We've got the 2014... Robocop reboot, which I heard didn't get good reviews, but I'm going to watch it anyway. Because I do fuck reviews. I'm just going to watch them anyway from now on. Yeah, but if I don't like a movie, it's fine. If I like a movie and other people don't, they're lost. But I'm not going to just not go see a movie because, someone pe because some people hate it. Next is Hancock. The Will Smith and Charlie Theron action from 2006, 2006, 2000, 2005, 2006. Next we've got a movie that released pretty sure two years ago but didn't get released anywhere until this year. Replicant with Keanu Reeves. I haven't heard anything about this because... To be fair, I didn't even know this thing was coming out. I knew it was, but like... Yeah. So we got Jumanji, the next level. Sorry for that glare. Yep, it's, this was probably... Wasn't as good as the first one, but it'll be good to watch it again. Probably one of my surprisingly favourite movies of 2019. 21 Bridges with Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman. It's real good. It's like not real good, but like in my terms, it's real good. Next is we've got Independence Day, the original, which I have yet to watch. But I'm keen to watch this again. Haven't watched it in a couple of years. Or since Resurgence came out in 2016. Here we've got a movie I've been binging over the recent couple of week or so. The Robocop 3 movie collection, which includes Robocop, Robocop 2, and the worst of all, Robocop 3. But it's still an enjoyable movie if you don't care. Next is probably one of my funniest movies that I own. Zombie Land. It's like I watched it recently, and it's still, still pretty good. I'm, I was happy to hear that they brought like, a sequel came out in last year. World War Z in 3D with Brad Pitt. Gonna try and get through them kind of quickly because we're already at four minutes. Zombie Land Double Tap. I haven't watched it, but I'm keen to watch it to see if it compares to the original. 
Max Payne. I haven't heard much about it. Sin City. The theatrical and recut editions. Uh, the Chronicles of Riddick, Pitch Black. Uh, Daredevil, the extended edition. Which adds about half an hour, I believe. And I've heard that that edition is better than any of the, the other, the main, the theatrical edition. Here's probably a real good movie of 2019. Joker. A movie I hadn't heard of, but I knew it existed, if that makes sense. Which is The Losers with pretty big star cast in 2009. It had Chris Evans... Zoe, Zol Zoe Soldano, Idris Elba, and some other big dudes. Yeah, it'll be interesting to check it out. And a movie I have, don't think I've ever seen, being Inception, which I've heard real good reviews about it, so I'll watch it one day. 21 Jump Street, you can't, it's another comedy action, which... I enjoy the A team, which I don't. I don't remember. I remember this coming out, but I don't remember it ever releasing. But I guess it did. No, it released in cinemas, but I didn't know it released on Blu-ray and stuff. And that's the extended cut too. We've got Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance on 3D, which. Maybe, let me clarify. A lot of people don't like the Ghost Rider movies, but like they're not the best, but they're like still pretty good. You can't, because I know the first. This was Spirit of Vengeance that came out in 2011. This is Ghost Rider, the original one that came out in 2007. Yes, which doesn't doesn't rate highly, but remember. Ghost Rider was before the whole MCU started. So, just imagine Ghost Rider started the MCU instead of Iron Man. Think about that. And probably one of my, an underrated movie, Stuba. This movie was a crack up. Yep. Next we've got the small little list. Starship Troopers, which I'm a fan of. I remember watching it before, and I'm keen to watch this again. Hunter Killer. I'm on a Gerard Butler binge. Or oh, like I, I own a fair about four of his movies. Another player, person I was on a binge with, Dwayne Johnson. This is Faster. Before he became the big star, I think. The Dark Tower, which has Matthew McConaughey and Idris, Idris Elba, which is interesting, because I know this didn't particularly do well, but I did hear some good things about it, so I'll check it out. Commando with Arnie. Atomic Blonde, which I've heard some people compare this to John Wick just being the female John Wick. So it'll be interesting to see if it actually gets to that rank. Armageddon, which is a pit, my, my, one of my dad's favorite movies. So I picked it up. Triple X. Is the first triple X the next level, which is the ice cube one? Triple X, the return of Xander Cage in 3D as well. A, a pretty big movie in 2018. Ready Player One, 
Sahara, which is another one of my dad's favourite movies, I think. And probably another movie. Oh, this is the last one. Okay, good. This is probably a real... These two, like, are, are so good together. Like, I'm just waiting for Riding Along 3 to happen. Oh, shit. I just spoiled what movie it is, but... Ride Along 2. It's like, you can't... It's not... But stuff like this, you can't take them seriously. It's like, you have to... You have to just go in, be like, yep, it's going to be one of those dumb action comedy movies. Yeah. So, that is it. And... Yeah, I'm going to show you. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And another one. See ya.